U.S.-backed Syrian Democratic Forces. They say they will now launch a military campaign to liberate the de facto ISIS capital of Raqqa in northern uh, Syria. Uh, the Joint Operations Center for the military campaign will be called Euphrates Rage. We've got these images for you here just coming in, released to CNN by Syrian Democratic Forces, purports to show the first movements of that offensive. We want to get more from Will Ripley, who is live for us now in Istanbul. Will, what are you hearing this morning? Well, we know uh, that this has been confirmed, that this final push into Raqqa is underway. And this is very significant because ISIS, ISIS currently controls two major cities, Mosul and Iraq. You know about the ongoing operation there. And Raqqa, which they consider their de facto capital, a city that they've held for the past couple of years. The people who are living in Raqqa have been living under brutal ISIS rule. And now there is a force backed by the U.S.-led coalition of Kurdish and Arab fighters, the SDF. Uh, it's significant that, this, that these are local militias and that they are Kurdish and Arab working together because one thing that ISIS has been telling the civilians in Raqqa is that when the Kurdish fighters come into their city, they will be slaughtered in the streets. That's what ISIS is telling the families, the children, the grandparents who are terrified. Uh, they've been living with, with ongoing airstrikes uh, that have killed civilians. They've been living with violence. And then, of course, all of the things that ISIS does to people who don't live within the very strict rules of their self-proclaimed caliphate. Now they have the terror of this force moving in that they believe many people with little access to the Internet or radio or television might be coming in to do more harm to them. It is a heartbreaking situation. Uh, we know that Turkey, the Turkish military, while they have moved troops to the border with Syria, they will not be participating in this operation because Turkey believes that these Kurdish fighters are associated with a group uh, that they consider terrorists, a group of Kurds here in Turkey trying to carve out their own country uh, responsible for uh, bombing attacks that have killed people in this country. So a very complex situation and at the center of it in Raqqa right now, terrified civilians who don't know